Hello everyone. Welcome to Poor J'adore. This is my first ever video. And I kind of have a plan of what I'm going to do, but might make it up a bit as I go along. The colors that I'm going to use are bright aqua green and Payne's Gray and Deep Violet and this light yellow iridescent gold oh yeah and I have I've only been doing this for two weeks but I haven't used red up until now so I thought I would try to throw red in there to see how it goes so it's just a primary red where is this primary red and then some good old titanium white, which is that one. And my pouring mediums, I'm using both Floetrol and Liquitex as well. Okay, so now don't mind me, I'm just going to go about the business and try to forget that you're there. Okay, I've never used these uh, silicone squeezy measuring cups before, but I thought it would be a cool way to experiment and more environmentally friendly and all that. some music in these quiet parts. Thank goodness for post-production. <laughs> you may be wondering, why is she saying that? There's already music playing. <laughs>
I was originally going to use black, but then I didn't mix up, and then I decided to use this Payne's Gray as my black, which it's it's like a blue black. I don't know why they call it Payne's Gray, but I guess it's kind of a grayish, bluish. But I thought I'd try layering this in between each color, see how that goes. I already forgot, didn't I? <laughs> and that's okay. Maybe that's the mistake that will make this spectacular. gray. It looks like blue to me. Doesn't that look like blue? Pain's gray. Because the gray is in pain and it's turned blue. I don't know. <laughs> uh, it's kind of gray actually. Blue gray. Okay, so my idea, and I don't know if it's going to work because I tried this with water <laughs> and it wasn't too bad, but there's less in this one than I was expecting, way less. And there's more in this one than I was expecting, so I'm not sure how that happened, but... Hmm. 
a general idea. going to be to do these at the same time. Whoops. And this might end up pouring into this. <laughs> it's not supposed to, but I did this once before and I had one in the middle here and they were taped on either sides. But for these, I, I can't do that. So let's just see what happens. Actually, before I do that, I forgot. I want to add a bit to the canvas first. This just helps the paint flow. Right. <clears throat> so here comes the big experiment and I might be capturing a mess here, but thank goodness this art is basically messes. <laughs> so I don't know if maybe I can hold the one with the other one. I just don't want to lose my grip and it falls. And it actually before I do that, I take one of the sticks. And Chris cross it. Because I've seen other people do that, and I've done it, and it doesn't seem to do anything disastrous. So I'll do it with the other one too. Chris, there's really not much paint in this one. So this could end up being super uneven. I don't know if that matters. Probably not. Okay, you ready? I guess I am. Let's see how this goes. I just pulled you off for a second. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah. Gotta just go for it. 